Imagine a battery so light it feels like a backpack, but with the power to carry a car over 1-200 miles. Sounds far-fetched, right? But that's exactly the kind of technological madness Tesla decided to make a reality with the Prism Core project. The name may sound like something out of a secret lab, and in a way, it is. This new 3D architecture inspired by crystals, like dodecahedrons, isn't just an aesthetic choice. It's an engineering masterstroke. By shaping the battery cells into interconnected geometric shapes, the engineers achieved something almost magical, an absurdly larger surface area, which accelerates the flow of ions and completely changes the energy efficiency game. But the trick isn't just in the shape. Each prism core cell is encased in a nanostructured aluminum alloy called chroma layer, which not only improves conductivity by up to 700%, but also prevents ions from getting stuck. This alloy works in conjunction with bacteria-sized microactuators, which gently vibrate to keep the pathways clear. It's as if the battery had a nervous system that prevents traffic from getting stuck. All of this combines to drastically reduce energy losses. The promise is a reduction of up to 195% in resistive losses. That is, almost everything that enters is converted into real power. The most curious thing is how this structure benefits real life. Think of a battery that weighs only 36 kilos, almost the same as a Labrador dog, but with theoretical autonomy of 1,200 miles. This means that the average driver in the US, for example, could drive for weeks without needing to recharge. And most impressively, all this while taking up less space than current batteries, leaving more free space inside the car. Whether for carrying groceries, stretching your legs, or simply having a lighter and more agile vehicle, this structural change opens up new possibilities in every way. The fact that the battery is a structural part of the vehicle also enhances the concept of safety and efficiency. Rather than being a separate block fitted inside the car, the prism core is literally the skeleton. This means fewer parts, fewer points of failure, and greater rigidity across the board. The structure, formed by interconnected dodecahedrons, behaves like a geodesic dome, the kind that's virtually indestructible. This improves the vehicle's mechanical performance and impact resistance, which is crucial in accident situations. This increased structural rigidity has a very interesting side effect, comfort. With less chassis deformation, the car handles more stably on curves, over potholes, and under heavy braking. This makes it easier to adjust the suspension for a smoother ride, the kind that makes a child fall asleep in the back seat, even in heavy traffic. And the lighter the car, the easier it brakes. This translates directly into safety, especially in school zones, busy intersections, or emergency situations. The system also reduces the complexity of assembly and maintenance. Because the entire pack is composed of interconnected cells that fit together like a rigid puzzle, there's less need for separate modules and redundant connections. This makes production cheaper and faster. And when it comes to repairs or diagnostics, service time is drastically reduced, as the design was designed from the outset to be modular and intelligent. It's a battery that seems to know exactly where it hurts before the mechanic even touches it. Another striking point is how this design helps prevent waste. When less energy is lost in the form of heat or internal resistance, each charge is better utilized. This means the same charging station can serve more cars with less energy. On a global scale, the impact is brutal. Imagine millions of vehicles consuming 90% of the energy they receive instead of wasting much of it, as is the case today. The energy savings in infrastructure would be enormous, not to mention the relief to the power grid. The Prism Core architecture, after all, isn't just a technical innovation. It's a reinterpretation of what it means to build an electric car. It's as if they've taken the concept of a battery and transformed it into a living organism, one that not only stores energy, but also interacts fluidly with the vehicle, the environment, and the user. If such a small structure can store so much energy, 
withstand impacts, and even serve as the foundation for the entire car, the question remains. What else will this new generation of batteries transform about the way we move? What immediately catches your eye isn't just the Prism Core battery's lightness or unusual shape, but what it promises to do over time. Five minutes. That's the number that's leaving many people speechless. Tesla is working on a technology called Flash Pulse Charge, capable of fully recharging the pack in as little time as it takes to make a cup of coffee. But of course, this kind of speed isn't without its challenges. To safely handle this monstrous electrical load, the supply network would need to rely on energy buffers, like 10 megawatt megapacks, that accumulate energy during off-peak hours and release it all at once, like a coordinated electrical punch. This ability to absorb and discharge energy so quickly is only possible because the battery itself has also evolved. It's no longer a simple box with ions moving from one side to the other. Internally, there's a clever structure called TerraFlow Electrolyte, which accelerates the mobility of ions and allows them to travel along optimized paths with minimal resistance. Completing the system is the vehicle's artificial intelligence, which already knows when you're leaving, where you intend to go, and even how long you'll wait to charge. The car literally prepares itself before you reach the charger. Of course, with so much speed, an inevitable question arises. Will this battery last? After all, no one wants a car that recharges in five minutes, but breaks down in two years. And that's where the concept Avion cycle. This framework is designed to support up to 30,000 complete recharge cycles, which in practice can mean more than 6 million miles of use or about 40 years on the road. This isn't just a promise of longevity. It's a shift in how people view cars, from a perishable consumer good to a durable item, almost like an heirloom. To achieve this level of endurance, Tesla didn't rely on magic, but rather on chemistry and intelligent design. Microactuators that vibrate the cells also help prevent heat buildup in specific spots, maintaining a uniform internal structure. This eliminates the notorious hot spots that wear down conventional batteries. Furthermore, the low internal resistance allows fast charging to occur without generating as much heat, meaning the cooling system can be simpler, lighter, and cheaper. About 18 T detoyers, 18 kilos in refrigeration parts, can be eliminated with this new approach. Another important detail is the thermal resistance. This battery performs predictably in extreme conditions, from 70 degrees to 170 degrees. In other words, it will perform equally well in the Arizona desert and the Alaskan winter. And this is more than a convenience. It's a guarantee of reliability. Many families avoid electric cars for fear of battery failure in extreme weather. Prism Core eliminates this concern with a technical margin few rivals can match. Sustainability has also become a key piece in this puzzle. While global lithium reserves are finite and increasingly expensive to extract, aluminum is abundant and cheap. With over 29 billion tons of bauxite on the planet, the resource is far from exhausted. But Tesla went further. It created a process called Eternal Melt, capable of recycling aluminum from batteries with 99.9% .9 purity and almost no residue. This reduces by up to 90% carbon emissions compared to the traditional lithium battery process. We're talking about tons less CO2 per vehicle produced. This massive carbon reduction may seem distant, but the impact is felt in the wallet. A battery that lasts four decades, doesn't require frequent replacement, is lighter and cheaper to produce, means lower costs over the car's lifetime. Not to mention the ease of recycling at the end of the journey. For the average consumer, the result is simple. Less headache, less expense, and more confidence that the investment is worthwhile. And for the planet, a sigh of relief amid the energy race. And speaking of reliability, there's something many people value even more than power or speed. Predictability. Prism Core not only delivers performance, but also reliability. 
It's designed to perform consistently in any situation, with fewer components, fewer failures, and less maintenance. Instead of a complicated system full of fragile modules, it offers a cohesive, resilient, and nearly fail-safe block. It's not just a new battery. It's a new way of thinking about what a battery can be, and, most importantly, how it can change what we expect from an electric car. While many focus on the power and speed of batteries, Tesla went further by proposing something that speaks directly to human behavior, a battery that the driver understands, literally. At the heart of this is a small revolutionary component called MindLink Processor. It monitors subtle body signals, such as hand pressure on the steering wheel, breathing rate, heart rate, and even eye movement. This data is processed in real time to adjust how the car delivers power. The result? The vehicle learns to conserve battery power without the driver even noticing, based solely on the driver's emotional climate. This silent energy intelligence is what makes the system so special. When the driver is in a hurry, the car responds with more power. When the driver is relaxed, it automatically reduces consumption. No notifications, no alerts, no invasive interventions. Just smoother, more efficient power delivery. This represents a giant leap in autonomy. It is estimated that the real gain in range could reach 40% just with this behavioral adaptation. And because this is done imperceptibly, the driving experience remains natural without feeling like the car is holding back power. But range and performance are only relevant if the price is affordable. And this is where the stakes get high. The promise is bold. A complete 40 kilowatt package for just as one $800. With this value, the most basic model of the Tesla Model 2 could be launched for $10,000. Something completely unthinkable in today's market. But to achieve this feat, everything has to work with almost surgical precision. Production would be done using a technique called Quantum Smith, a laser-guided assembly with 99.999% accuracy, similar to semiconductor factories. This almost obsessive approach to perfection has a clear goal, to reduce waste. The less material thrown away during production, the lower the cost per unit. Fewer modules, fewer connectors, fewer points of failure, and more robustness. In a world where even a screw out of place makes a car more expensive, this type of control changes everything. What's more, standardized robotic production means the same pack can be used in different models, reducing the cost of scale and speeding up manufacturing time. In practical terms, this can represent 80% savings on total cost of ownership in 25 years, compared to a gasoline car. Now, think about this in a family's daily life. It's not just the price of the car that changes, but all the costs involved. Fuel, maintenance, inspections, and part replacement. A vehicle that practically never breaks down, charges in minutes, understands the driver's pace, and costs a fraction of the price of a traditional car. It's the kind of change that doesn't depend on ideology or fashion. It's pure economic common sense. And ultimately, that's what makes a product truly explode in the market. Efficiency with savings. And if that battery lasts 40 years, then the environmental and economic impact extends beyond the current owner. It could be passed on to someone else, repurposed in new models, or even used as a home power bank at the end of its automotive lifespan. This creates a value continuity line where the initial investment is diluted over decades. And we're not talking about a theory. The components, materials, and processes already exist or are in advanced development. All that's left is to scale them up, mass produce them, and put them on the streets. And the most surprising thing is that none of this violates the laws of physics. What seems impossible is actually a combination of well-calculated decisions, using geometries to expand the reaction area, applying intelligence to invisibly reduce consumption, optimizing every millimeter of the production chain. It's as if they put engineers, chemists, 
designers, and neuroscientists in the same room and said, make something that lasts, works, and costs little. And they did. The result is this battery that challenges everything we believe to be immutable in the automotive industry. Essentially, what we're seeing is a paradigm shift. Before, the battery was the weak point. Today, it's become the backbone. Before, it was what limited. Now, it's what liberates. With this kind of technology, the Tesla Model 2 is no longer just a cheap car. It becomes a symbol of efficiency, intelligence, and autonomy. A car that thinks, feels, and responds, and that can fit the budgets of millions of people. As impressive as Tesla's new battery performance may seem, none of it would be possible if they hadn't solved one of battery engineering's biggest nightmares. Dendrites, these tiny metal needles grow inside cells over time, piercing internal separators and creating short circuits that, in extreme cases, cause fires. They are silent, insidious, and until now, unavoidable. But with the emergence of technology flux wall, Tesla not only controlled this problem, it practically erased it from the equation. The company didn't improve a weakness. It turned that weakness into a strength. The basis of this innovation is a material as thin as a molecule, a layer of 48 nanometers of a liquid crystalline polymer. This coating acts as artificial cell membrane, inspired by the ion channels found in living organisms. Instead of blocking the movement of aluminum ions, it guides them along smooth paths, as if directing traffic with green traffic lights. And the secret lies precisely in this, not impeding, but directing. The result is elimination of 90-99% of dendrite nucleation events, a number that redefines the concept of battery safety. But innovation doesn't stop at the protective layer. Integrated into the system are tiny sensors measuring parontontordi 1 micrometer, which detect any attempt at dendrite formation. These sensors act like microscopic sentinels, constantly scanning the cell's internal channels. If any irregularity is detected, the system releases targeted electrochemical pulses that dissolve the protospikes before they can even grow. It's like eliminating a weed before it can sprout. And this on an atomic scale, thousands of times per second. This active approach, combined with the flux wall's self-healing layer, creates such a controlled environment that the battery can maintain. 5% capacity loss even after 30,000 extreme load cycles. And we're talking about heavy-duty testing, with rapid recharges and unstable environments, not laboratory simulations under perfect conditions. What we see, in practice, is a battery that doesn't degrade, doesn't exhibit erratic behavior, and maintains its predictable performance over decades. And all this without the need for overly complex containment systems or heavy cooling. The gain in security is also evident. The flux wall layer is non-flammable and withstands extreme temperatures of up to 260 degrees without meltdown. This means that even if something goes wrong with another component of the car, the battery will remain stable and contained. This kind of predictable behavior is essential for consumer confidence, especially for families who want to put children in the back seat without worrying about the car catching fire in a collision or during a quick charge on hot days. This extreme thermal resistance also enables applications in environments previously considered unfeasible for electric vehicles. Blazing desert routes or scientific bases in polar regions become possible. Instead of creating special versions of vehicles for extreme climates, 